Well, many of us have been guilty of writing off Wayward Lad too early. And the man who's made a big difference to him today is John Frankham. He's with me now. John, you had to work pretty hard, but you won well in the end. He won very nicely, and I just feel very sorry for Robert Earnshaw. Um, to me, I should think the horse hasn't quite been himself the last few runs, and the owners just thought that perhaps a change of jockey might do some good. And I can't honestly say that I'd agree with him. He'd have won with Robert on or anyone else today. Um, well, you had to work pretty hard, and here you are coming to the second last, John. And yeah. um, Earlsbridge just in front, and half free from your stable friend of winter is going just as well as you on the outside at this stage. Well, I think he probably looks like he's going as well. Richard was in trouble with me a little bit down the back, and I was determined I was going to finish in front of our horse. And uh, this horse is a good horse. I mean, I must admit, I've really fancied him for the Gold Cup. And he just either doesn't like Cheltenham or the ground was a little bit tacky. But he's put his best foot forward. It's a very good run today. I mean, he showed his old sparkle today. But even on the run in there, right to the finish, you're working very hard. Well, I was working hard for me anyway. Um, <laughs> he's, you know, the lads, I spoke to a couple of the lads who work in the yard, and they said they thought perhaps he got a bit lazy, got a bit older and wiser. And I just didn't want to uh, give him any chance of pulling up. You won the King George on him a couple of years ago. He seems to come back to that form now after some very disappointing runs. Gave me a better feel today than he did when I won the King George on him. When I won that race on him a couple of years ago, I was never on the bridle. I mean, he'd been winning over two and a half miles. And at the two and a half mile gate, I didn't have a cat's hope of being in the frame. The further he went, the better he went. And I thought, and I said to Michael then that... Um, I thought that either there was something the matter with him or he was a lot slower than I thought he was. And uh, I think perhaps the horse is just coming back now. Well, that's one important victory in the bag. And one of the few races to elude you still is the Grand National. And, of course, you ride Drumlagen on Saturday. Yeah. Um, he's got a marvellous chance. We could do with a little bit of rain. The ground's quite fast. But Eddie O'Grady, who trains him, says he's in cracking form. And if he gets his brain into gear early on, I could have a good ride on him.